up here at a new permission with Jim and Joe. The rest of the guys from All Metal Militia are not out here today, so we're just out here putzing around. Uh, Joe came up on this permission, and the property is very old, very cool, and as you can tell, I am on an original cart road, still with the walls and everything. I do believe the guy's gone through here and kind of fixed them up a little bit, but these are all the original rocks, and this is the original cart road. We're going to get to digging some more. Um, I believe Jim actually just found a large scent. So we're going to keep digging this field behind us, and I'll let you know what we find. And there's Joe way over there by that apple tree. There's a few apple trees in this little pasture that we're searching. Jim is right behind me, and that's where he just scored his large scent. I just popped a plug. I was reading kind of a choppy tone, and I have something round down there. Let's get it. I think it's going to be a button, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that's definitely a button. And it is a very old button. No shank. I don't see any design on that, but you never know until you really clean it. But yeah, I'll take it. First button of the day. So Jim's over here, and like I said earlier, he found a large scent. And that happens to be, if we can focus, it's a drape bust, large scent, very cool. Those are dated late 17, early 1800s. Good job, Jimmy. That's really cool. Thank you. Way to go, buddy. Everywhere I go, I look down and I see those guys. It's usually a good sign. See what happens. You just pull out of the ground, Joey. Uh, I pulled out a mercury dime. Check that out. Let's see. Good for you. Joey's permission. We get up here. Pretty beat up. That's a mercury dime. Yep. Silver. My fourth of the year. Good job, buddy. Right. I just dug that. I'm not sure what that is, but it's kind of ratted on inside and out. Maybe that had some silver plating on it at one point. Maybe it was a bracelet. Don't know. Well, I'm not sure what's in here, but the plug already just produced this. A little piece of porcelain. I love finding these old plates and cups and whatever else they might have been. Just that blue paint really stands out. But anyway, I have a target in here. Grab the pinpointer. And it wasn't that far down, but it was ringing a choppy copper tone again. And for some reason, that's just how they've been going this year. Now I can't find it. Oh. in here. It is in there. Let's see what it is. Oh, well, along with the dish, or piece of a dish, we now have a spoon bowl. Someone was out here having a picnic, I believe, way back in the day. There you go. Some porcelain. A nice spoon bowl. Well, this was a solid 60 on the 75. I believe it's some kind of a buckle. I think. I mean, it has the looks of one. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit, though. I don't know that it's broke. Or that it's broke in. That's what it looks like. A piece of a buckle. So as the guys are over here, hitting the mid part of the field. I'm trying to stick over here next to the stone wall in the corridor there with the, the old cart road. And I had, not really the greatest tone, but I can see some rust. As soon as you start seeing this stuff, it's usually no good. Something iron, sometimes they're buckles, sometimes they're whatever, but. So, you never know though. I 
don't think it's that rock. Never know that either. Nope. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. I cannot stay away from these things. It's an old oxen shoe. It's a little more bent than most, but yep. Again, that's how they cleared the land up in these places that we're searching, so they weren't always fields. But thanks to the oxen power that they had, they're now fields. And now these are relics from the past that we dig up all the time up here in New England. OF75 sniffing them out. I'm gonna go, I'll go, uh, die. Okay. You so Ted's it? gonna dig it. I'm gonna try, bud. Ready? Yep, let's go. Come on, clad dime. <laughs> no, no clad dime. Is it a bottle? Yeah, that will He's be. got the plug out of the hole. Uh, it's still in there, so. Going down to pinpoint it. Should pinpoint really easy. No, it's not big, it's just that pinpointer is just a lot of the money. The old F pulse. Let's see if we can locate this. Ooh, looks like it's small. Whatever it is. Ooh, it's a copper. No way. Yeah, copper. I was going to say copper, but I went to dime because he sounded it? so low. Let me see the camera. Say copper too, but I went the other See way. what that is. No way. Yeah, it's another largey, I think. Looks nice. Oh, I kissed it with the shovel. You can see that little shine up on the edge there, but. So, I'm going to clean that up and. Uh, I'll post it right after this clip. Stay tuned. And here's that coin I just found cleaned up. It's an 1803 Drape Bust. American large scent. It's gonna take some time to clean that up, but you can start seeing the one scent peeking through right there in the middle. The wreath would be around the edge. And that's what they look like. Another one for the books. On to the next. Right next to where I just dug the copper, I have a mid-tone, and it is in the plug. And Jim is bottom feeding. <laughs> Let's see where we go here. Oh, no. Is this a heel plate? I believe this is a heel plate, isn't it? Or part of one? Bottom of a shoe boot, or a, yeah, a shoe boot. Uh, oh, shoe plate. Oh, yeah, boot plate. A boot plate, shoe, shoe, shoe plate. plate. I've never yeah, dug the one of those. heel, the heel of the foot. That's excellent. I've never dug one of those. Yeah, I don't think I've dug one either, to be honest with you. But I now hold one in my hand. Cool relic. Well, our two hours is just about up. That's all we had for a time limit here on this property, but. We have handed over some things that we found. Joe gave the landowner the Mercury Dime to let them know that we appreciate them letting us be on the property, letting us come out and do some searching. Hopefully, they'll call us back, or if we stop by, they'll say yes uh, to the next time. So because of this guy right here, we're on these beautiful permissions today, and we're about to head to another one. So hopefully... We'll get on some stuff. What'd you find at the other place the last time? Um, a cat bus dime. Cat bus dime. Couldn't get a date off it, but it was at least 18, or, yeah, 1837. Absolutely. So we're going to get back up there and maybe there's more. We are back at a permission that a couple weeks ago we were pulling out buttons from this area. Joe ended up getting a cat bust dime. And I actually pulled out a silver of my own. Check this out. All right, we're going over to Ed. Come on over. He sees the edge, which he believes is silver. Read it, it's silver, but it was way- Eight down. inches. It was way down here. And I scooped up that, and I went like this, and I moved it aside because the pinpointer hit, and it's there right we there. Go. Is that big enough to be a barber quarter? That's not. No, that's a. You that's, think? That's, that I don't looks know. like a nickel. Ready? 
That's that's quarter size, isn't it? That's quarter size, but oh, you might have your barber if quarter. This is a barber quarter. I'm gonna freak out. Yeah. Well, let me do never it. Never found one. No, 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 no. You come on. Gonna, I want. No, no. Come I'm on. Do this. All right. Hold on. This is it. This could be it. My barber quarter. Hopefully, that's quarter size. Dude, that could be. Is that? I think it's smart. What is it? Is that? That's an eagle on the back. That's older. Is that a liberty? There's an eagle. No, it's just it's either a standing or standing a, or it's a standing Liberty nice. standing nice. Liberty quarter. That's nice. Can you see a date on there? Heck yeah! Hold on, I'm not gonna rub it. Oh my god! Good job, Ed. I was hoping that was my barber, but still. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Well, here it is, a standing Liberty quarter, 1926. From this, from that whole area right there. American oh, silver right quarter, yep. a big old eagle on the back. And now we are back again. And we're going to hit the other side of the yard slash field that we had across the road because, as you can tell, they just hayed. Second one in 24 hours for me. Yeah. I'd never dug one before yesterday, now I dug two. This is a harmonica reed. It would go in the middle of two pieces of wood. The reed has slots in it that are different sizes. It would have a little flap of metal on top, I believe, as a reed. And there you go. Of course, all the wood is now gone off these, but this is what we're left with when we find these things. Pretty cool. Well, we have not been finding very much. We've been to the other spots, like I said, about, I don't know, probably the last couple hours or so, and we haven't found hardly anything at all. Jay has since joined us. Oh, there he is right there. Day's getting late. Allergies are getting to me. Um, my eyes are on fire, so we're gonna see how much we can do here. But um, yeah, the finds just have not been there this afternoon, going into this evening. So hopefully, we can turn that around within the next hour or so. Unfortunately, that's all she wrote. But I was able to pick up some trinkets and some relics and some other fun stuff today. And let's start over here with the trash. Of course, big old hunk of cast iron, something else. It's not a dig without these things. I'm sure all you know that. Tabs, caps, cans, can slaw. But up here, where we detect, we find a lot of these. There is a lot of hunting going around in these areas. And, uh,. You know, the hunters will shoot or drop and they'll leave them behind and we pick them up. The old paper shotgun shells. Again, you find a lot of these. I actually like finding these in the fields and in the yards that we search. Kind of gives it a little bit of an age. Farm parts or farmer part. Maybe that was a hoe of some sort. I don't know. Got a bunch of horse tack, and you got your ox, oxen shoe, part of an old horseshoe here. You can see where the square nail used to hold that in. Clad, of course, you don't go anywhere without finding clad. And then over here, the older stuff, you got that boot plate, or shoe plate, probably shoe. Whatever that old buckle of some sort is. Still got to clean it up a little bit. I'm not sure if that's broke or not, but we'll see button missing shank yep that can go over in the junk pile we find a lot of those old washers as well some weird piece of copper or something or other not really sure what that is feel free to let me know but yeah so that thing and the only great find of the day is the uh, trait bust and it is drying out a little bit. You can see that one right there, right now, dead center. Underneath it would say scent with the wreath. But, unfortunately, when it dried up, I wiped it just a little bit, and a big hunk of dirt pulled everything with it. But, that's what happens to these old coppers. At least we can tell what it is. We got a date. 1803. At least that's what it looked like when it was somewhat readable. And that's about it. So, we'll be back at it again tomorrow, but for today, that's all there is.